Oh, hi. Welcome to Biotechnica. Today we are going to talk about something really exciting. And let me start that by telling you a story. So recently, student in his class 11th, so he's in 11th grade, and he enrolled in bioinformatics summer internship. I was like, why do you need that? Then I was contacted by another parent. So this student was from Dubai and uh, she enrolled into our uh, bioinformatics summer internship. Followed by that, another student from Chennai also joined our bioinformatics summer internship. So I asked them, why do you need to, you know, pursue uh, this at such an early stage? The answer they gave me blew my mind. In fact, I never thought that way when I was in class 11. Probably we never thought beyond the, you know, medical entrance exams. But the generation of today is much more readier than us. So I think uh, it's very important for all of you to know what they're doing. And I'm going to tell you top five scholarships in the world in biotech, which you can avail and you can practically make your education free of cost. So this video is all about making your biotech education free of cost. And at the same time, growing with the best organization, right? So to start with, the first scholarship which we have is the Gates Millennium Scholarship USA. Now, this scholarship is awarded to students from underrepresented backgrounds in uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. So obviously, you can apply. The next one which we have is Swedish Institute Scholarship for Global Professionals. The third one which we have is Joint Japan World uh, Bank Graduate Scholarships. Then we have Endeavor Postgraduate Awards from Australia. And followed by that, we have Rotary Foundation Global Study Grants for all the global students. Now, out of all these five, the first one, which is Gates Millennium uh, Scholarship, is applicable only when you are either a U.S. citizen or you have enrolled into a U.S. course. Okay, so once you have enrolled, then you can apply. Okay, the rest all, you can apply before you have got admission into it, any of your um, organizations of choice. Now, very important thing is, uh, many of them, many of you will be like, okay, as soon as you heard the name, you will go Google and find out what exactly it is about. Right? Yes, that's the right step. But hold on, I'll, I'm going to tell you some key points which will help you get grab these scholarships. Okay. Now, these scholarships are available for a reason, right? And why they are available, that let me tell you. Now, overall, if we um, look at the current scenario, or in fact, uh, globally, why these scholarships exist is because they want to take out the best talent of underrepresented countries or the low class underprivileged countries and they want to polish them and give them the best infra so that they can pursue the best of the education in the developed economies and then they can contribute to the developed economies okay so truth be told basically they are looking to poach talent okay but hey that's uh, a debate for another day we are here to talk about the importance of these scholarships. So I told you five scholarships. There are actually more than 500 plus scholarships across the globe. Okay. Now, as a biotech professional from India or any part of the world, you can apply in these scholarships. Very important thing is to know the eligibility criteria. So always look at the eligibility criteria, whether you are eligible or not. And uh, you can always reach out to your mentor who will guide you on that. If you don't have a mentor, you can always reach out to me. Now, the second point is making your application strong. So initially I told you that these two students who are in 11th class uh, have applied for the bioinformatics summer internship. One of them have has also, uh, you know, taken a CRISPR uh, hands-on internship. So why did why are they doing it at such an early stage? Is because when I asked them, they said that, sir, I want to grab a top-notch scholarship and then apply for a US uh, bachelor's or master's. So if I have to do that, I have to prepare early and my application should be the strongest and that's the hint I want to give you. So even though you know the eligibility criteria and you are eligible, so will be so many people, right? So why should the scholarship committee choose you, right? And that is where you need to do things early on, okay? Invest in your education now itself so that when you apply for these scholarships, you are picked first. So uh, for example, you have to make your scholarship application strong. Only then they will select you. So you can uh, pursue internships, training programs, workshops, webinars, conferences, valued ones, the good reputed ones. And um, that you can obviously get at Biotechnica. And when you are doing that, so 
you will actually strengthen your resume and when you will apply you will mention this that uh, as 11th grade or as a 12th grade or as a bachelor student or a master student i have done this 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 right so that way you will impress the scholarship committee while others would not have done it you have done it so that will help you stand apart from the crowd right and then obviously when you will go for the interview the interview can happen online through you know zoom or skype whatever or it can happen in person like they can they may call you there or whatever it is uh, sometimes the scholarship committee will have a branch office in india or any part of the world and there you have to go so they will ask you questions based on what you have learned so it is not just about accumulating certificates it's also about learning right so like i said bioinformatics summer internship is starting from 4th of march you can always enroll in that and make your application strong now many of the students will be like hey i don't want to go out of india i want to stay in india and you know um, get these kind of scholarships so obviously you have csir net exam uh, which you have to write to get the scholarship you have inspire fellowship you have the pmrf then you have gate exam then you have uh, ars net so basically just in india there are 18 plus scholarships fellowships available for life science student right so overall there is a lot of support system which is available for uh, biotech professionals which if you utilize you can technically practically make your education free of cost but to get selected in these either you have to hustle learn and um, you know gain those experiences and then write that as a strong supporting letter the letter of purpose an application form and then apply or you have to qualify these exams which i just just mentioned so in all the cases i believe that okay the, you may not get the scholarship still getting associated with a great um brand college or a great brand institution like stanford harvard or in india iits or uh, iisc or isers that's a achievement in itself so it makes your next path easy so when you will go and apply anywhere for a job also in the future you can always mention that i was a recipient of this scholarship right and then you can you know uh pursue uh, you can get a, get the job faster right because others would not have got that so the employer will think that there must be something uh unique about this guy and they will recruit you right so it all starts from cross skilling up skilling and learning at this stage wherever you are okay and only then you can get a degree where people will would have to actually spend millions of dollars you can get it for free because these scholarships exist but these scholarships also have a limitation and that is the seats number of seats will be limited so you have to go and cross check what kind of people won a scholarship last time or last to last year so that you know the taste and flavor of the scholarship committee right and then you see okay if this guy got selected you can always find them out on linkedin and understand if he has got selected and what all things he had done before getting selected right so and then you can reverse engineer or maybe improvise on that that's how you can make your education absolutely free of cost you using these scholarships global as well as national scholarships now at the same time i would like to urge you that biotechnica has bioinformatics summer internship artificial intelligence and machine learning and drug discovery inter- internship then we also have crispr hands on internship we have molecular biology hands on internships all these you can utilize and strengthen your uh, application wherever you apply and then you can get your scholarship faster so these were the points and thoughts this morning i wanted to share with you all let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and yes you deserve it because you deserve the best because you are a biotechnica all the best